Hi folks, my name is Jürgen aka Nerd and proud of it and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to see the second part of the video I uploaded earlier. I apparently screwed up, I don't know. I, I blame it on Adobe, but uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Folks, there were two minutes missing. Um, I can't fix it. I can't add to an existing video. You already commented on the video and there was a nice discussion going on. So I don't want to re-upload the video neither, but I'm going to add these two minutes that were missing and watch out for the post credit scene because John C is back. Our alien warning system is back. Enjoy folks. Uh, sorry, sorry for that. I, I hate that. You know it. I'm a perfectionist. I, I hate it. But uh, the video was nine minutes and then it doesn't show two minutes. So that sucks. Enjoy. Talk to you next time, folks. Bye bye. You can only spend your money once, but I think both of these buys are not a bad thing. And even if you yeah, you don't have to buy a case, but uh, I normally, if, if I hold for long term, I go for a case. Uh, I am thinking about buying one collector box for 195 bucks because it's pretty cheap. Um, simply because I, I, I might want to open uh, the box and enjoy the set because I'm a, I'm a Viking fan. I like the show. I like uh, that kind of uh, that kind of Norse mythology, and that Kaltheim set resonates with me. But that's very personal. So all in all, you you I think um, you have to you have to make a decision which uh, which set uh, you enjoy more or which uh, card you enjoy more and um, yeah for me it's a I'm I'm also a player so uh, I might have more use for the Candelabra at the moment than for the call time collector boxes especially again you can only spend your money once and I had to sell a couple of uh, reserved list cards to get the Candelabra so I don't have funds if I would have funds if I would have unlimited funds it would be easy but if I w uh, would have funds for the um, call time collector booster boxes now as well i probably would buy a case uh, for that kind of money at this moment because we're it's out of print and uh we're close to uh to uh stuff moving up hopefully again i i believe um and i know everything is down and uh, sealed booster boxes are down as well but in general um I, I don't see a big risk in buying uh, a case of call time collector booster boxes for around uh, 200 uh, or under 200 bucks a box. That was um, the discussion for today, folks. I, just a quick one. I, I wanted to, uh, to uh, balance uh, your thoughts uh, together with me um, about uh, what makes more sense. Uh, old cards, uh, sealed product, um, and I think uh, more recent cards, just singles, uh, never makes more sense than sealed product and old cards. But um, yeah, that's up to you if you need them for a deck, of course, it's okay. Um, have a great day, folks. Thanks for listening. Enjoy your rest of the week and stay healthy, stay frosty. Talk to you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah.